earlier went out and did latch to the boot. I'll show you how this lays out. My hook is just about too big for the hole here. So you can see where it still has the grip right here. So that's the only thing that's holding the boat on the trailer. So we're going to back the trailer into the water and show how it works. Okay, boat's in the water. Boat's still being latched to the front of the trailer. And what I'll do is I'll attach a rope here, it'll pop it, and that will open the teeth on this that'll release the boat. And I'll be able to get on it by getting on from here, and then I'll be totally released. This microphone's driving me crazy. This thing shouldn't have stayed up this way. You have been watching a demo of Boat to Trailer, an automatic boat loading and boat launching system. You are looking at the latch required to replace a 3 inch roller on a trailer. This is the latch. The, there's also a roller that comes with the 3 inch latch that goes at the top of that 
latch. There's the arms that were used to release the latch. Also a couple tools there along with the directions that are. You can go to the boat to trailer website where there are several videos on loading and unloading the boat. I was very impressed with this company even before I had emailed a question to the boat to trailer website on a Sunday afternoon and received a response that evening from the owner of the company, Mr. Rob Waterbury. His personal attention to this told me a lot about the company. If you wish to know more about this product, I have put together a video of the installation of the boat to trailer to my trailer, which will follow here in just a moment. I hope you enjoy watching the video and find it helpful. If you have any questions about this product, please ask them in the comments section. Also, if you have the time, I would appreciate it if you could take a moment and hit the subscribe button, please. Thank you. Okay, so we have a boat plug today, so we should be able to put the boat in the water without the boat going under the water. I put together just a handful of things to get ready to go for the uh, installation at the handles, and I've left these very loosely because I just don't know how they're going to fit, and then I have bought a socket here that worked that piece. This is the three inch hitch uh, to hit the roller on a three inch. And on this one, you do have to install this roller on the, I'll call it hitch for lack of a better word. So I've already installed this. These are a couple of parts that will be used to hold the handle zone. This particular one came with a lock. I had bought a unit that was unboxed, and so for doing that, they cut the price and then they threw in a, a lock. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then for taking the roller off of the boat, I have a 9/16 inch wrench and a 9 sixteenths inch socket and these will be the same things that are required on the new one so that should give me the tools that I need and things fairly well organized to go forward what I intend to do is go in uh, put the plug in the boat and then lower the boat into the water let it float back just a bit and then pull the trailer up so that I have room to take the old roller off, put this on, and then I will back the boat back into the water and we'll just winch it back up. That's what they recommend to get the first setting on it. And when that works properly, then I'll be prepared to try it with the boat actually moving. So let's give it a try. I have lots of new toys I'm working with today. I'll be doing the work today using my new Movo wireless microphone. Uh, what I've seen of these, I really like the looks of it. I hope it'll be able to make the sound a little better. And then what I'm gonna have to do is take the boat over to the lake. The weight of the boat right now is laid up on the roller so that even when I've taken the nut off of the bolt, I can't get this removed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the lake and I'm going to loosen the strap up here to where the boat can roll back just a little ways to where I can get the roller loose. I'll pull up out of the water and then I'll make my change there. So we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. 